Okay, for starters, um, one of the things that <clears throat> you usually hear a lot is that anything with private property is hierarchical. But a step interme intermediately higher than this is the argument that private property is hierarchical in itself. And I really don't get this argument because it implies that the center for anything with private property is that entity that has that private property, which might apply nowadays, but it hasn't applied in stuff with private property like modern times. And I think that in a... Um, Sorry, I burped. I'm eating some food right now. I think that in um, what we have now with capitalism, a lot of it is hierarchical nowadays with our sort of new contemporary pseudo capitalism or state capitalism, actually. But sans state, the capitalist. Once he establishes the three factors of production and the entrepreneurship, only has a job of investment, and if he can't pull off that job, then because he isn't the center and it's all inter complex, intricate network, devoid of a center, he could be removed. And this could also apply to other institutions. Nice picture change. I'm a fan of Chaos from Zeno Saga. And furthermore, the same thing could have applied to the feudalist stateless societies. I mean, they were suffering due to most of the church and clergy, but not as much when there was no state. You could easily said that with a few alterations that and Western United States during the Homesteading Act have not just been stateless, but devoid of hierarchy and still have those um, capitalist or feudalist methods. The problem is that those individuals that were suffering from that didn't have the classical anarchism part. Not just the 19th century, no hierarchy part, but just the whole individual autonomy for your government, choosing your own. Tyranny is Noam Chomsky says. I'm sorry, Noam Chomsky. And with all of those taken into account, you could have easily said that they could have had that lack of hierarchy if all those other variables were to come into play. And so it becomes apparent that public property and private property aren't different in terms of state and hierarchy since they both suffer in very similar manners but rather that there are barriers that of government and society so the other of the main four variables being government society statism and hierarchy so they don't have to, so they both suffer equally and can both be devoid or with the horror, horrors of uh, hierarchy and statism, but their main difference is government and societal differences. Hopefully you can see my face in the next videos, but I really want to eat and shit, so fuck you guys.